Now, Cardano, why it should or why should it be a must crypto to watch for 2022? Cardano's coin seems to be unstoppable above $2 and the outlook for 2022 looks optimistic for ADA hodlers. This is actually one of the most interesting coins to cover on my channel, mostly because I've been with them from the start. We've covered them so ridiculously many times throughout the year. And, well, the biggest, I guess, upgrade happened not too long ago, about last month, leaving people to wonder what's going to happen next. My own opinion on the matter is Cardano is a solid project solid foundation and for all of you that did not know it's basically a platformer with a peer-reviewed approach which basically means they're not going to be the ones to do things first they're going to be the ones who do things right and as i said before solid foundations good backers good hodlers good community good founder so to speak <laughs> it's basically thought out well now the reason it's so interesting to cover right now is because people don't understand the next steps and even though I don't have the Cardano roadmap open, I think I can easily tell you guys what the roadmap is looking like. So, for right now, the most recent upgrade basically brought smart contracts to Cardano. Because yes, even though the project has been years old and it's a platformer like Ethereum and I guess all the others, it didn't have smart contract functionality for the longest time. So, since this upgrade came to life, things can be deployed on ADA, and it can basically grow from there on forward, which is definitely peculiar, but it's a really big step. So from that perspective, what's going to happen next? Well, you got the foundations now for a solid platformer. Now you need to kind of branch out. And even though we had some small scaling upgrades before, uh, decentralization upgrades before, that's really what they have to work on right now. To be able to, for example, meet the necessities of mass adoption, but also to really compete with the best of the best platformers out there. So they need to become more decentralized. They need to become more scalable. And it sounds like a generic little explanation for you, but that's literally the faces which they have too. They just need to become more scalable. They need to go harder. They might go for some crazy marketing. I don't really know. It's going to take a little while for the official epoch of, 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 of importance to arrive because they have epochs every, I don't know, five days or so where, where there's some changes. But we'll get there. And indeed, the future looks so bright purely because they have such a solid foundation. A lot of other crypto projects can't say so because they do things quickly to become the first innovative. Wow, wow, wow. No, these guys are solid from the core up. And that's also why I think ADA is one of those coins which can easily hold its price for longer times. Even in the bear market, I think this coin might hold its value better. But in a bull market, because it's the platformer that's literally the best of most platformers, if you ask me. It should do a lot better in a, in a crypto bull run. Also from the perspective that all these other runs before, it was purely hype and ideas. Right now, they actually have some solid foundation. How do you say it? They have some, some, some things to show for themselves. Let's put it like that. All right, then, guys, we're going to quickly recommend you all to check out my DustyBC Bybit competition. It's basically a competition where you guys can win 50,000 XRP just by trading a little bit over on Bybit. There's two more days left. I thought I would have recorded a Bybit tutorial by now. I actually wanted to record it right now. However, apparently I have to leave in about 20 minutes. So it's going to be difficult for me to do. All right. This video, I'm going to post it. <laughs> it's going to even be a struggle to get the title and the, thumb, uh, the thumbnail in, but I'll get it done. Now, how it works is you need 250 XP in your account. You need to trade for $100 worth. And it's basically a how much profit you make will determine your rank. So it's not how good of a trader you are. It's literally possible to get lucky because I am, I believe, number nine here. So I'm going to win 255 XRP for just putting on one trade with you guys live in a video. Just because I thought, you know what, let me let me open a trade up. It's, it's that simple, potentially. You just literally open up a trade with some leverage is my own personal thought process and see where it goes. If you lose your money, you lose. If you win... You win more than you probably lost because the minimum amount that your account could be is 250 XRP. So it's, I would personally say try something. But again, don't take this as advice like that. Just do whatever you feel comfortable with. All right. Then AVA, AVA, AVA. Price analysis. Bulls post strong gains after breaking above $300. Interesting, no? Very freaking interesting. So why is AVA so great? I actually find it fun to talk about Ava because, as I've said before, 
I've talked about it so much. It's just an easy DeFi platform. What do you officially call it? I believe officially it's an open source and non-custodial protocol. This is just for memory, guys. I'm thinking now because I've I've read, <laughs> I've read this to so many people. I just open up Google and I start reading because people don't understand. It's a non-custodial protocol to earn interest on and borrow interest on deposits and borrow assets, which is basically DeFi in the easiest uh, way to say it. There, there's a lot of different things which you can basically do on there, but the, the premise is it's DeFi. So why am I so bullish about it? Why do I like it so much and what's going on? Well, Av is one of my earliest projects because I actually invested in ETH Lend, which turned out to be Ava, which made me a freaking ton of gains. That was insane. And, well, in my opinion, the long story short about this one is it's just juicy because they're the first in some ways, but most importantly, because they just hit a sector which is needed. And I think because they were ETH Lend before and Ethereum has got such easy access to proper regulatory clarity, that might also be why they haven't really been under scrutiny from the SEC or any of the parties, because of course, being Ava, being a DeFi protocol like that, it's not that easy to stay on the market without any uh, big hassles. In terms of price analysis, I personally think that Ava should be a $600 plus coin. I think right now it might really be pretty low, like $313 or so. That's pretty low for even where I bought Ava last time, but I think that will kind of fix itself in due time. Purely because I believe right now it, it might literally be the best of, of what it does. Um... Yeah, I think so. I'm just thinking which project might kind of hit close to home, but I think Ava, Ava is just my my so my number one that I'm maybe kind of biased, right? But Ava is my baby. Then a couple of other pieces of crypto news. It's interesting that I kind of change the top or the way that I do these videos. I sometimes do TA, sometimes I do the you know in news fashion, whatever, guys. This is cool stuff. Breaking: Zimbabwe finance minister says it's impossible to ignore crypto. This is one of the easiest things to kind of cover for you guys. It's just another one of these high ups in the in the ministry that says it's impossible to ignore because that's easy facts to give. You cannot ignore crypto. We all know it. You can try to push it down as much as possible, but you can't ignore it. And I think every high up person should acknowledge that because otherwise you're basically playing games with yourself. It's impossible to ignore. And it's impossible to... Um, not do anything about it, like the U.S., for example. Right now, they're trying to do nothing against it or nothing with it and trying to kind of wait. And that's basically what's messing them up, if you ask me. China has been doing real amazing stuff in terms of making clear to the people and that what is and what isn't allowed. It's not a lot that it's allowed, but they're really clear about it. And I guess a couple other countries like Japan also try to make things clear as fast as possible. The U.K., I guess it's, it's, it's still better than the U.S. The U.S. just likes to take things slow to make sure they're done right. But in a fast-moving, fast-paced industry like this, that just doesn't work too well, specifically when the first moves are crucial to how you're going to rank in the end of things. So that's just my opinion on the matter, though. I, I think the U.S. is messing up big time. Two facts about XRP that you should know. I don't even know the facts, to be honest with you guys. I was like, what is this? First of all, the company that created XRP is being sued by the SEC. Fun fact, officially no. Officially, XRP was actually created before Ripple, the company, was made. Um, so that is not officially true, but I, I like where they're going. And a competitor has emerged in Swift Go. Again, people often say this, that Swift is competition. No. Swift and Ripple will work together. Swift knows this. Ripple knows this. And it will be a... I don't, I don't think competition is... is too much of what they're going for even though health, competition is healthy anyway and you should never assume that any one project is going to overtake 100 percent of the share of the entire market because well that that, that would be kind of bad <laughs> because in the end of the day competition is good for the people and if you are a supporter of ripple and what they do you know that everything that they do is supposed to be good for the people because you're supposed to be able to send money across the world across countries in the easiest and and cheapest fashion the more control they have, the lazier they'll become because it's a company. And the more money it will most likely cost because they can increase their profit margins if they have such a monopoly. Competition is key. Competition is key. Competition is key. And also very freaking healthy. So competition would be fine. But in this specific case here, they will work with Swift. I don't really know why people put that up sometimes. Maybe it's just to fear people into a certain way of thinking. But no, I don't really think it's, um, it's too bad of a thing. Then the U.S. Treasury Department, FinCEN, 
linked roughly $5.2 billion worth of Bitcoin transactions to ransomware. It's actually pretty interesting. Sometimes I also ask myself, where do they send that money? Where does it go? Did they just keep it forever? Because the more that crypto gets adopted, the harder and harder it is going to be to spend your quote unquote illegal Bitcoins because there's so many tracking um, companies basically out there right now. They'll track you to the freaking bone. So if you send it somewhere, they'll know. I guess maybe it's just you use an exchange that doesn't have the same type of software um, in their system so they don't really recognize the crypto. But still, it's, it's crazy if you think about it, right? The longer you wait, the more they're going to find out. So the more on a hot plate you'll basically be. That's something I sometimes think about as well. I mean, yeah, you can hide so much for right now, but I don't know if that's going to be the same situation forever. So something interesting to kind of think about. And I guess we'll just end the video off right there. I have a couple other things, but we'll talk about that in a different video. Because again, guys, I do not have that much time, but I needed to get an update out to you guys of everything that's happening right now in the space and my opinion on the matters. In terms of all the cryptos out there, we're doing neutral. We're not doing that bad. Um, here it says plus, maybe because I haven't refreshed. I was like, <laughs> it's not plus, but it's not that bad. Bitcoin's still above 61,000. Ethereum's still close to 4,000. Things are still going to pop off, and you guys know it already. I'm long on quite a lot of different crypto. I bought a ton of it. And fun fact, one of the guys I was with yesterday lost a ton of money on a Bitcoin long. Um, little little fun fact, but I, I think we'll recover pretty quickly. Just my own thought process. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Make sure you press the like button if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you want more. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video later today.